hello it's me emma and um today <laughs> i'm depressed and dissociating and also incredibly anxious like the physical effects of my anxiety are really getting a hold of me today <laughs> it's so fun <laughs> it is the 17th i think today i think it's thursday the 17th of november 2022 yeah and so today i'm going to be making a self-care coping mechanism box i'll explain more but basically it's just a box with things in it to ground me and um like distract me and stuff so then i don't fall down the spiral of bad coping mechanisms Sorry, my breathing is really skew whiff today. So fun. Um, so I'm gonna bring you along for the ride because I thought this is something that could help people if they, if you like me have bad coping mechanisms, this can help. First, first you'll need a box. This is a loot crate box because me and my brother used to get loot crates. We don't anymore because I don't really know why not, but uh, that's where I used to get all my shirts from. So now I haven't had a new shirt in quite a while, but it's quite a big box. So it'll be able to fit in quite a bit of things. But the first thing we need to do is decorate it. My hair's wet, by the way, because I went for a walk into town and it's raining. Because always try to go for a walk when you're not feeling good. Um, the physical energy is... Ah! I, I dropped a buttload of stickers, but I've got them back now. I need to fix this box, but still, that's not the point of this. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to use a butt ton of stickers and also print off some pictures that make me happy. So like art pieces, scenes from TV shows that I love. Um, nice just nice things maybe pictures of me and my friends to go on the inside that's actually really nice i do that to go on the inside to remind you of the people that you love change of venue in my bedroom with a completed box which is just covered in random shit and stickers and i love it very much the finishing touch i need to do is figuring out which of these pictures I want to put on the inside of it. So I'm going to do that now. My brother's now in the room next door, so this is very embarrassing. Um, but I decorated the inside. And this picture of baby me. So the first thing I'm putting in is some face masks and a hairbrush, uh, just a mini one because self-care is important and when I'm really depressed I usually can't brush my hair, it sounds really fun, um, so it's nice to have it in there so then I brush my hair, which is what it's for, Jesus. Next, what I'm adding in is some migra migraine cooling relief pads and some ibuprofen gel because aches and pains happen a lot when I'm feeling bad and those really help um, get rid of that. Next is a book and pencil. This is my pencil that I got from Disneyland and it has Remy the Rat from Ratatouille on it. Um, just for like journaling down any thoughts or drawing or scribbling or anything that I need to physically get out of my head and into ooh, and into that the real world if that makes sense next is some orange juice cartons uh, a little snack and some uh, chewing gum to do with sensors mainly taste obviously because you eat them um i just find it really helps me you know 
another thing for scent for the, the scents is um this lavender spray um smells like lavender um it, it it's just really nice to have and um, again grounding the last thing that i'm putting in is a sudoku and puzzle book um as a distraction technique because i find that when i do puzzles um you know your brain's not focused on how you're feeling and instead what's in front of you so yeah that's my self-care box i also recommend um candles and um obviously there's not a fire hazard um <laughs> But candles and low light in general, it really gives that sense of hygge, that consciously cosy feeling. And um, I also recommend if you're feeling bad watching like comforting films. Um, and so another thing that I do is I have recently created a playlist on Spotify called fun songs i'll link up just a list of upbeat songs um because both my mum and my brother have um have questioned my taste in music and whether that is why i'm so depressed and you know what no but i fuck with them for trying podcasts are also really good funny podcasts especially um my recommendations would be the auntie donna podcast uh, my dad wrote a porno, No Such Thing as a Fish. I think they're probably my three favourite podcasts at the moment. So yeah, this is me on my box that I made. Me and me box. And my brother's snoring next door in bed. I'll see you next week. <laughs>